What's up? What's going on? How y'all doing? How y'all feeling? Let's get down to the situation. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video, y'all. Let's get into it. Let's talk about Love and Hip Hop Atlanta Season 11, Episode 14. At the touchy moment, the moment between Scrappy and Bambi was so real. And it just seems like, oh man, they could have worked out. But at the end of the day, you know, it seemed like they are on one accord, you know, while they was in the Bahamas. But as you guys know, we've seen a lot of things, a lot of turmoil a lot of shots being taken on social media from one another after this conversation but in the moment it was a beautiful conversation and for Bambi to say that I feel like you didn't give me enough grace Scrappy and I think that Bambi is basically that's her way of saying that you didn't just give me time to love you the way that you wanted to be loved you didn't give me enough time to you know develop the trust that I needed to develop for you you didn't give me enough time to you, you know just to really understand you to deal with your mom to deal you know with your face baby mama to deal with your daughter to deal with everything to deal with you traveling to deal with you doing this to dealing with you being out you just didn't give me enough grace because one thing that scrappy always has said is he want bambi to be a part of his family with mama d and he wanted to have the cookouts he wanted to have all that together and when mama d and bambi i'm not at odds and not going to one another's house and the kids not being able to go to mama d's house that was a problem then it was also a problem with you know scrappy and his daughter Imani and Bambi and that whole situation with DCYF cops being called recordings and things of that nature Bambi in that moment to me is saying that I wasn't mature at some of these moments but I think in that moment her and Scrappy together was a mature moment and it was a very mature moment because you can also see Bambi you know scrambling because she really didn't know what to say she really just didn't know what to say to Scrappy for him being vulnerable, from him opening up. And that's what he says about Bambi, that she's not vulnerable. You know, she's, you know, she's stuck in it too much. He wanted her to be more compassionate. He wanted her to be more like a mothery loving towards him and I believe he didn't get that and Scrappy also says that he loves her. He said, I love you, Bambi. I was like, oh my God. And he goes, you're a great mom despite what other people are saying because you know when it comes to mama d when it comes to erica dixon and when it comes to scrappy daughter imani they said that bambi's not a good mother <laughs> you know they said that bambi doesn't take care of their children's hair but as we guys as we all know bambi children do have a hair care product to help your hair grow to keep your hair safe and things of that nature so there's a whole lot going on with the situation when the families are fighting it's really hard for a young couple to survive especially and this day and age and also with social media involved and then also Bambi having two friends going through a divorce because sometimes they're projecting can project into your marriage and then Scrappy also owning up saying that Bambi's a good person because that's one thing Bambi wanted Scrappy to validate her especially when it's the the divorce situation was going on so i know she was happy about that as well and he goes i'm sorry i hurt you i'm sorry i hurt your heart and you know he apologized i'm sorry for my part i'm sorry for my ego his ego talking to diamond his ego you know basically not fighting for the marriage after he got caught with the text messages and not doing what he's doing what the conversation he had with bambi now is the conversation him and bambi should have had when them text messages messages came up because it could have been a chance for them to actually you know work it out if there wasn't any infidelity but it's emotional cheating and being with someone that has a history of cheating it's hard to trust them and then scrappy travel so now you're going to really have to put your trust in it sometimes people can't deal with that and that's something that needed to be worked on but it was wonderful to see scrappy and bambi after all the arguing after everything that went on on social media for a year and a half it's good to see that you know they had this conversation and they talked to each other and they both look so beautiful together and you can actually see the love you can see Bambi actually submitting you know to Scrappy by her body language but you know she said I love you too Scrappy she didn't say much because I think she was really shocked because maybe if they would have had this conversation you know long time ago things would have been different but scrappy also says it was my ego you know and you know and you know but i still 
should have handled it differently and his ego and what he wanted a relationship to be because he wanted Bambi to be a certain way. And this is why Bambi said that you didn't give me enough grace. He wanted that emotional love, that emotional connection. He wanted, you know, pick me up. I'm falling, cover my, uh, kiss my boo-boo. You know what I mean? Things of that nature. And he said, I didn't give you, and he's saying to her that, you know, the way I wanted the relationship to be and it wasn't the way that I wanted to be. So he lashed out. And so he's apologizing for his behavior. He's apologizing for everything that a person should apologize for, you know, and, um, and, and, and Bambi said, I still love you. And he says, I still love you too. And all I can say is I love you. And so he's owning up to his faults and his mistakes a lot more clearly than Bambi is. So it almost seems like they may have been some communication issues between them two at home with them just talking. And it seems like here, since there's cameras around, people around is a little bit different because people are saying, hey, you guys are destroying our trip. You guys are ruining our trip. And so, you know, seeing Bambi cry because you don't usually see Bambi cry and just seeing her be that emotional that's something that he wanted and he's looking at her like damn I gotta let her go but he goes when I seen you I knew I wanted you and you have my heart so I guess that's the question does I guess he loved Bambi more than he loved all the rest of them um he married her and had three kids with her because anytime he could have walked away and he never did walk away and he's and he he said you have my heart you had my heart but at this point, the relationship is over. But just to see, you can feel the deep emotion from both of them too. And Bambi just shocked. And I think Bambi may have some regrets as far as, you know, leaving him really quick in this moment. But does she have the regrets now? Who knows? And Scrappy wanted to make clear that, that she's a good mother. She's a good person. She's not, she's not perfect. But, you know, she had his heart and he loved her. And he still loves her and he appreciates everything that she did for him, having his children, helping him out, taking care of the children and things of that nature. And, um, you know, Bambi did have some complaints about Scrappy not being home, Scrappy not helping with the kids. He's an Instagram dad. And right, you know, even on this episode, she said that Scrappy's living his best life and, you know, he's not paying for food. He's not paying for tuition He and she pays for everything. And, you know, it's a hard pill to swallow and it's a hard road, you know, to go by yourself. Even though they were splitting rent, at least you splitting it and not paying the whole thing. You know what I mean? So it's a whole lot that they had going on. It just seems like they was just too immature. And they didn't have the support from people around them to help build their marriage or they didn't reach out or the people that were negative that wanted their marriage to separate or just think that they were not fit for one another. They didn't have the support. I think if they would have had the support and it would have had the communication that they're having now in this moment that seems so authentic. If, if everything else is fake on love and hip hop, this moment between Bambi and Scrappy was real. It was real, real, you know, and it almost makes you think that Scrappy is missing Bambi. And he grabbed her hand. He said, it feels so good to touch you. It feels so good, you know, to for you to be in my presence. So, yeah, he missed the girl and he loves the girl and and she missed him, too. And she loves him, too. But it's hard for her sometimes to communicate her feelings. And that probably probably could be because of her childhood and she had to be tough and maybe she was raised around boys and you know she grew up in a tough neighborhood and you know she didn't want to be hurt or want to be played so this exterior that she has you can see it shattered a lot in this moment but scrappy hate going up against that exterior or going up against that blockage in that wall and then at the same time she feels like maybe he's trying to play me because he cheated with me. He cheated on me with Erica. And it's just like their marriage, once they got together, they should have worked on this whole trust thing. And um, and his daughter not feeling comfortable at the crib. That was a whole lot that weighed on them. And the reason why is because it was the sneaking back and forth, even though the child is innocent. It's just a lot for anybody to swallow especially in this day and age and especially with inflation and just so much going on and so many people quick and ready to tell you to end your marriage but at the end of the day they seem like they're at a good place